Here to bring you an update on surgery for breast cancer is our reporter, Laura Windsor. Undergoing breast surgery for cancer is never easy, but it can be a great relief to know that women have options which can reduce their worries during this difficult time. Dr. Melvin Silverstein of Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach describes the improvements women are enjoying today. Oncoplastic breast surgery is a combination of oncologic surgery, which is cancer surgery, and plastic surgery. Classical cancer surgery is relatively destructive. You take out a large piece of tissue and you don't really care how it looks. You just want to get the cancer out. Oncoplastic surgery takes a different philosophical point of view and the point of view is that the way the breast looks when you're done is important. And so we use uh, many plastic surgical techniques uh, to support the oncologic surgery. So it's a combination really of two disciplines. We asked Dr. Silverstein how oncoplastic surgery changes the whole approach to breast cancer surgery. Oncoplastic breast conservation surgery is trying to figure out how you can take a large piece of tissue out with a tumor, get good clear margins, and then reshape the breast so that you're actually happy with the result. Kind of a win-win situation, take the tumor out, get clear margins, and make it look as good or better than you started. All I do every single day are, is see patients who are 45, 50 years old, six, 55 years old, with uh, large tumors that if you take them out, you would deform the breast. Just turns out that most of those women have medium to large size breasts, which lends that breast uh, to a large resection, which you can then use to remodel the breast and reshape it, elevating the nipple from a lower level to a more normal level. Um, and you can end up with a beautiful cosmetic result while you're actually doing cancer surgery. It's something I've been doing for the last you know, 25 years since I built the first breast center in Van Nuys, California. Um, but it's really only become popular in this country about five years ago when I started to teach a course at the American Society of Breast Surgeons on oncoplastic surgery. And now that course sells out in the day it goes online. And uh, everybody in the country wants to learn about oncoplastic breast surgery. The Orange County Breast Consortium is a group that I uh, just started with my colleague, Dr. John West. Uh, and we actually met just a few days ago, the first night, we invited uh, 20 uh, breast uh, cancer surgeons in Orange County and 20 breast cancer surgeons came to the meeting. We talked about um, uh, intraoperative radiation therapy, which is a type of uh, treatment that's going to, to be very important in the near future. Uh, it will replace six weeks of external beam radiation therapy with one dose intraoperatively. So we talked about that as our topic. Next month, we'll be talking about oncoplastic surgery. We'll be talking about lots of topics that, that interest breast cancer doctors. And uh, it, it has never been done before here, and it really uh, has worked out very well. There was tremendous enthusiasm. At the end of the meeting, when most people usually run home, uh, everybody stayed for 20 or 30 minutes to talk to their colleagues. So I know it was a good meeting. Until cancer is a thing of the past, innovations and more effective procedures will lead to better living and better lives after cancer. I'm Laura Windsor for the American Health Journal.